Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation Film Session. As we take a deeper look at Rico Gathers, first and foremost, I really think that there's a way for this man to still be on this roster. I think that they should still go with four tight ends. The only threat to Rico, believe it or not, is uh, Jamez Olawale. And here's why. Jamez Olawale can line up as the H-back. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. And he can bring so many other things to the table as far as uh, run threat and also catching that ball. It's just remarkable to me. But if you look at Rico Gather's skill set, his ability, his height, and all those things that come into play means everything. He's a natural catcher of the ball. Watch how he catch to greet the ball with his hands. That's everything, guys. And when you're talking about the uh, matchups with Rico Gathers and the opposition, Rico Gathers is going to win that. He's going to win that. It's just that the only reservation that anybody can have on Rico is the blocking aspect. I think the coaching staff should find a way to coach him up on that. I think he run good polished routes, even though if you look at his play right here, uh, he greased the ball with his hand. And, and that's what I like, guys. I like this aspect of his game. Uh, his ability to catch the ball and greet the ball with his hands. Watch this. That's everything, guys. I, I, I love that out of his skill set. High point the ball, making sure the opposition will not just slap the ball or knock the ball out of him. He's strong. He's uh, possessive with the ball. It's kind of like grabbing a rebound. He has that skill set. He has those traits. Now, as far as reservations, of course, anybody, anybody can have this on this Rico Gathers blocking. Now, <laughs> he gave up the inside on his play. Now, everybody knows when, when you're blocking, you got to lower your hips. Low man always win, right? He's standing up too high on his play, and uh, he allowed the opposition to get, get the release or disengage and able to get this uh, a tackle for no gain. Now, what I would like for Rico to do is lower his hips, lower his pad levels, and just drive this man towards the sideline. He had the leverage at this point, but he just didn't get low. And I always say this as well, when you're six foot seven or six foot eight, whatever his height is, somebody reach out to the world and ask Rico, how tall are you? <laughs> but uh, the low man always win, guys. And that's why he was able to break free, disengage and get that tackle. But look at the very next play. This is what you have to love about Rico, that the disadvantage <laughs> of the opposition have against his height he's got subtle speed his speed would jump out at you and he have that type of uh, uh length on his body his frame to get the separation too and, and i must say guys that's a good touch on the ball by cooper rush that speaks volumes too as well watch the touch off the ball able to drop the ball right into the lap and he just catches the ball smoothly with his hands there's nothing the opposition can do on that play guys that's what I like. And then let's look back at this play again. Let's look at the height ratio difference. Uh, it speaks volumes, guys, of what he can do. For, look at the height advantage. <laughs> it's like a man amongst boys, a beast amongst puppies. He can catch this ball nine times out of ten. He's catching that, guys. And, and I like that aspect of his game. I think that the Cowboys need to work on on just trying to figure out a way to keep him on his team. Figure out a way somehow, some way. You can line him up at 12 personnel. You can have your jumbo package 22 and 23 personnel with Rico. I think that his height advantage just speaks everything. You can't coach against that. He can high point that ball and, and pluck the ball out of the sky, put six points on the board. That's everything, guys. That's what you need. And even off of off-man coverage right here, it's a third, it's a third and 11 as we can see. Everybody backpedaling because they're trying to say, okay, we just want to stop the opposition from getting to this marker or the Cowboys or what have you. Third and long, and he's going to score off this play. He's just going to run a, a simple post route right up the middle, drag right up the top, pluck the ball out of the sky. There's nothing. There's nothing. Only a few defensive players in the National Football League can stop that play. And, and now you have that weapon on your side of the team. Come on, Cowboys. Figure out a way to keep this guy on your roster. Look at this. Look like uh, a man amongst boys. I don't know what his height's. <laughs> Somebody figure out who, what is Rico Gathers real height. Please reach out to Rico. Let us know. Because at this point, these guys look like ants. And, and there's nowhere you can stop that play, guys. There's no way you can stop that play. 
high point the ball, snag them, <laughs> or mouse them. <laughs> There's nothing that you can do. Uh, we talk about window passes or window throws. This is a whole balcony. You got all this area, all this area. There's nothing that any DB can do to stop this play. This guy is huge. He's big. I think the Cowboys roster would benefit even if you use him as trick plays. And I'm not fond of trickery, but I think that this is an exception to the rule, guys. Figure out a way to get this guy on your team. If not, he's he's going to be on somebody else's team doing this. And you don't want that. Look at this, guys. High point the ball. That's everything right here. And then he plucks the ball out of the sky with his hands. He's the hands catcher. And I like that, guys. It's it just, it, it, to me, yes, he may not be a world-class boxing out guy, you know, as far as blocks. But somehow you got to figure out a way to teach this guy to develop in that particular category. I do know that people are going to say, well, hey, it's up to Rico too as well. Everything shouldn't be on the coaching staff. But at some point, somebody had to step up, guys, at this point. To me personally, there's only three people that can stop Rico Gathers. Three people. Jason Garrett, Scott Lennonhan, and Kevon Frazier. And I want to know you, what's your thoughts. I want to know your opinions on this matter. Uh, I think I still have Rico Gathers making this team one way or another. Uh, but just leave those comments down below. Leave me your thoughts. And that's all the time I have for today. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to Nothing But The Bass. Salute. I am out. Peace.